What's up everyone? This is Gio here. Um, so today I made a video about uh, backing up, uh, replacing, and recovering your PS3 hard drive. Uh, why is this important? Because Sony's shutting down the PS3 store, the PS Vita, and the PSP store. So you want to you want to have a new hard drive. You want to download all your games, and you want to have everything ready to go. So let's get started. So step number one is we're going to back up what we currently have on the PS3. So for that, I have this cheap uh, one terabyte Toshiba external hard drive. Um, you're just gonna plug this into the USB ports on the front of your uh, PS3. Um, now, you gotta make sure that you format this FAT32 first, which I'm gonna cover in the video. And uh, so yeah, that's step number one. So before we can use our backup hard drive uh, to back up all our data, we have to format it. So here I'm using GUI uh, format, and this is a free program. I'm going to link it in the description. Um, all you do is uh, you use it to format the drive to FAT32, and then it'll work with the PS3. So on the PS3 main menu, we're going to go to settings. Then we're going to go down to system settings. And then in system settings, we're going to go to backup utility and there we're going to select our hard drive that we have plugged in and we're going to initiate the backup. This is going to take a long time so just be prepared. So as you can see here our backup is now complete and it tells you that it put it on the hard drive and how much space it took up. So as you can see our backup was 50 gigs. All right, so now that we uh, backed up all our data, the next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna replace our drive. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out the old drive um, and then you're gonna replace it with one of these uh, 2.5 uh, laptop hard drives. Um, this is actually my original one, the new one's already in there. Um, but you have to format it FAT32 first. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So before you can actually uh, format your new hard drive, you have to have something that will allow you to connect the SATA drive to your computer. Now, you can plug it into your motherboard directly, but that's kind of a hassle. So what I used was I used this uh, Thermaltake um, Black X Duet or Black Duet. Um, Right now you can get one on uh, New Egg for $50. They also have much cheaper cable options where you just plug it directly into the hard drive and then plug it into your computer via USB. Um, but uh, for me, this is what I used. So just like the backup hard drive for the replacement drive, you have to format it to FAT32 as well before you can use it with the PS3. Um, one extra step, I did have to use a disk manager to partition the drive first before the GUI format could detect the drive. So the first step in order to change your hard drive is you have to take this plastic cover off the side. Now after you take the plastic cover off, you're going to notice there's a blue screw. That blue screw is holding the hard drive bay in. You're going to uh, unscrew that blue screw, then you're going to pull up on this lever and you're going to shift it to the side. Once you do that, the hard drive tray is going to come out and all you have to do is unscrew four drives on the side and you can replace the hard drive. So here's the new hard drive inside the tray. Um, I did have an issue where one of the screws got stripped, so I had to order some special pliers to get it out. Um, I will link those in the description below. So after we formatted the drive on our PC, uh, the PS3 will want to format the drive again. So just let it do that. It's actually a pretty quick process. All right, so now that we uh, replaced the hard drive, the final step is gonna be to actually recover the data that we originally backed up on this external hard drive. Once we do that, all of our data that we had originally will be put back on this new hard drive. And then, um, you know, what I did was I went on the store, bought some new games, and just downloaded everything to my new hard drive. So that's gonna be the third and final step. 
So for the final part of our tutorial, we're going to be restoring our backed up hard drive to our new hard drive. So in order to do that, you're going to go to settings, system settings. Then you're going to go to the backup utility again, but this time you're going to hit restore. So once you hit restore, it's going to format the drive again, um, but I don't think it uh, is actually formatting it because it's not going to erase any data on it. Once it does that, it's going to start copying all the data from our backed up hard drive to our new replacement hard drive. Now this is a very long process so just make sure that you uh, leave your PS3 powered on and just monitor it um, every once in a while to make sure that it's working. So here we are at the end of the restoring process. As you can see our new hard drive has been completely restored and now we have access to all our uh, login data, games, trophies, everything else that was on the uh, original PS3 hard drive. All right, everyone. Uh, so that's it for uh, backing up, replacing, and restoring your PS3 hard drive. Um, I hope you all uh, enjoyed the tutorial and it made sense. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. And uh, that's it. Keep on gaming. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy it, please like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time.